Welcome to First Word Pharma's News Roundup for January 30th, brought to you by editorial researcher Olivia Roger. In our top news story, Nova Nordisk unveiled an investment of £115 million over 10 years in a new research center in the UK that will focus on early-stage research for the treatment of type 2 diabetes. The facility, which will be located on the premises of the University of Oxford, will employ up to 100 Nova Nordisk researchers. Mads Krosgaard Thompson, Chief Science Officer at Nova Nordisk, said our vision is that the unique combination of industrial and academic know-how will eventually lead to a new generation of treatments. Commenting on the UK's vote last year to leave the EU, Thompson noted all the uncertainties about Brexit are unfortunate, but they do not affect this collaboration. In other news, two late-stage studies of AstraZeneca and Fibrogen's experimental anemia therapy, Roxadustat, hit their main goals. Fibrogen CEO Tom Neff said the results bring us closer to the first oral anemia therapy that does not require injectable administration or IV iron supplementation. And finally, the European Medicines Agency accepted a filing seeking approval of BioCrist Pharmaceuticals Paramavir for the treatment of symptoms typical of influenza in adults. If approved, the intravenous viral neuraminidase inhibitor will be marketed by Securus under the name Alpavab. To read these and other stories in full, please visit firstwordpharma.com. Are you able to keep up with all the news and views in the biosimilars market? First Word's Biosimilar Index is the only dedicated biosimilar and non-comparable biologics intelligence tool available. Get ahead of your competition and learn more today. 